Fort Wayne on a two-way deal, spent most of last season with Indiana, so he is no stranger to this setup as McCall kicks out to Graham. His first shot in the G League this season is good from downtown. <laughs> Lace him up for a track meet tonight. Tajir McCall takes it away from Poitras, gets the Nets going in transition. McCall blocked from behind by Soar. One pick after, moves to 29th. After, I should say. As Scott's jumper off the mark, McCall, the offensive rebound, gets it to go. And you know, no Theo Pinson, who we always like to joke is kind of like the Swiss Army Knight, is probably the shortest guy on the floor. But lately, he's been filling it up. What a finish from Tajir McCall on the backdoor cut. You know, shooting as many threes as they do, perhaps explaining the discrepancy at the free throw line here in the first half. McCall down low for Drew Gordon, finishes off glass. They're starting to get hot from downtown, the Bayhawks have closed a 16-point Long Island lead down to one, but Tajir McCall gets it right back for the Nets. Good cut from Tajir McCall, the pass from Shannon Scott, and McCall has a chance. McCall being pressured by Gillen. Takes it left side, Tajir McCall! Oh my! Right here, here's another look at the Taj McCall dunk. That, this hang time, Kevin, is superb. Sword. Has it taken away by Creek. Mitch Creek for McCall. Back to Creek, the give and go and the foul. Pretty no look pass there from Taj McCall. Long Island getting out in transition. A 7-0 run led by Mitch Creek and he is up to 18 points. If that's their style, more of a run and gun team and obviously shooting the three as they make more than anybody in the G League per game. McCall with another nice dish down low, this time to Kamari Murphy. Almost 23 points per game as a miss by McCall. Now Seibert takes it baseline, throws it away to Taj McCall. Out Ole Kibe said a guy that he expects to really help this team as the season goes on, maybe not as much tonight. He is getting some time here.